Hello, this is Ava, and today I'm going to be discussing the process of using cabbage in finding pH levels. So the first step is to gather your ingredients. In order to do this, you will need one head of cabbage, one lemon, nine cups of water, four cups or bowls, measuring tools, including one cup and one teaspoon, a chopping board, a pot with a lid, oven mitts, a strainer, a knife, and your phone. Step two is to prep. So first you're gonna separate your cabbage into three piles of the peeled off leaves from the cabbage. The first pile is gonna contain two leaves, the second pile is gonna contain four leaves, and the third pile is going to contain six leaves. You're gonna chop them up as shown in this image right here and then you're going to next prep your lemon by cutting it into quarters and juicing it into a cup. Step three is to cook. So you are going to take your pot and add three cups of water and one pile of your cabbage leaves. So that would be your pile of two leaves, four leaves, or six leaves. And then you're going to cook that until it boils. It should look something like this after it's finished. Step four is to drain. You're going to place your cup into the sink like this and then place the strainer centered on top of the cup. Using oven mitts, and be careful, the pot and water will be very hot. Pour the cabbage water mixture into the center of the strainer, so where, probably about where my mouse is. And that will just make sure that it goes through into the cup without wasting as much as possible. Then you're going to repeat steps three and four until you've done all three piles of cabbage into three separate cups. And then this image right here is just the leftover cabbage after pouring out all the water. Step five is to mix. So you are going to take your three cups, and then this is the before, and you are going to add one teaspoon of your lemon juice that you squeezed in step two to each of these cups with the cabbage mixture. So here's the before, here's the after. This is like a little in-between when I had just poured in the lemon juice. And then here's a video on what it should happen when you do this. So you see the lemon juice is starting to react with the water mixture on its own. And then you're just going to stir it to make sure that it fully incorporates together so you have an accurate result. Once this is finished, you are going to use a pH scale to measure the pH level through the color you see in your cup. And that's all. These are all the steps in order to use cabbage to measure the pH scale of lemon juice. Thank you.